coordinator aided cataract surgery in eyes with corneal opacity a modified surgical approach in india cataract and corneal blindness continue to be leading causes of reversible blindness till date they can coexist in a multitude of pathology like trauma yield keratitis chronic degenerative changes bullous keratopathy corneal dystrophies etc surgery in such eyes can be highly challenging the advent of endoillumination has brought about substantially improved visualization by providing a stable stationary and diffuse form of illumination in chandelier illumination the light source is fixed posterior to the lens via the pars planar route the light is directed at the fundus and gets reflected back to retroilluminate the lens in case of chandelier illumination the retroillumination is affected once while the light rays exit the eye as opposed to microscope illumination wherein it is affected by the corneal opacity twice while entry as well as exit is had a macular corneal opacity with grade 3 nuclear cataract as depicted chandelier illumination was introduced via a 25 gauge pore in the infratemporal quadrant at 3.5 mm from the limbus capsular excess was done with the aid of retroillumination with microscope illumination turned off hydro dissection done pico emulsification of the lens was completed with chandelier illumination cortical matter removal done followed by iol implantation with an irrigating cannula in the anterior chamber posterior capsular plaque was removed and minimal pars plana vitrectomy was done with cutter The second case as mentioned here had a non dilating pupil and a poor view. After fixing the chandelier, iris hooks were placed. With the microscope light off and the chandelier light on, capsular excess was completed. Nucleus was fragmented and emulsified with the aid of chandelier retroillumination. aspiration was completed and intraocular lens implanted solely under chandelier illumination the 6 week post op visual acuity was 6 by 18 and 24 the third case was a 55 year old male with a dense cataract poor fundal glow and a chronic sub epithelial haze after constructing a superior partial thickness corneoscleral tunnel the chandelier was fixed in the infratemporal quadrant chandelier aided capsular excess was done under microscope illumination Aspiration completed with endo 
cost of visual acuity was 612 and 8. The fourth one is a case of herpetic keratinitis with secondary glaucoma. Due to raised IOP and glaucomatous disc, cataract surgery along with Ahmed glaucoma valve implantation was planned for him. After fixing the chandelier, malleogen ring placed to dilate the pupil. Capsular excess done with endoilluminator and microscope illumination. Hydrodissection done. Nucleus fragmented and emulsified with retroillumination by chandelier. Cortical aspiration and IOL implantation done by chandelier assistants. AGV implantation with graft completed. Post op vision at 6 weeks was 624 and 23. The last case had an opacified failed graft with an early grade cataract. 23 gauge chandelier illuminator was fixed in the inferotemporal quadrant. Anterior lens capsule stained. Endoilluminator guided capsular axis done. Nucleus fragmentation and phacoemulsification done by chandelier assistants with operating microscope light switched off. Bimanual irrigation and aspiration done by retroillumination from chandelier. Implanted under retroillumination. Sclerotomy port closed and wounds sutured to maintain AC turgents. Recipient bed measured using RK marker. Full thickness definition of the recipient bed done. The donor button was sutured to the host bed with 16 radial sutures. Six weeks post-operatively, the patient was doing well with BCVA of 6 by 36 and 12. As illustrated in our videos, patients with concomitant pathology were still able to get good post-operative vision. This modified technique helped in achieving better results both intra and post-operative. The endoilluminator aided modified approach to such cases is highly feasible, practical and convenient. It can serve as a smart addition to our surgical armamentarium.